about me, I'm a queer person. Great, great, fantastic. I said I'd ride the top because for a long time I was going with bisexual and I was dating a straight man. It happens to the best of us. Uh, but now I'm queer and I have a girlfriend. If you're a little bit confused about that shift, it's actually really easy to explain. Uh, do you remember a little while ago when Facebook rebranded as Meta? It's very similar in that I'm refusing to explain what's changed. <laughs> But I'm hoping it gives me a more sinister aura. <laughs> now, I think what it actually means is that I'm, I'm, I'm probably a lesbian, but I don't have time for the admin <laughs> of all my ex-boyfriends messaging me to ask if they're the ones that did it. <laughs> you know, like it's a crime scene. <laughs> And I'm Scooby-Doo. <laughs> that being said, I do love a murder mystery. My favourite bit's the reveal. You know, old man Smithers is my favourite bit. <laughs> I think I could do my own reveal for my exes, but keep it classy like Cluedo. You know, gather all my exes in a room, pick one of them at random, like it was John in the attic with his cursed penis. <laughs> <laughs> I was dating around for a while, though. I was dating around for a while. You think, I think you learn a lot about yourself when you're dating. Um, I learned that dating with this hair is good. Because <laughs> it persuades people that I'm fun to be around, <laughs> which is useful, because I'm not. <laughs> not fun. I'm not a fun person. I know this about myself, but it's so rubbish to know when you're queer. When you're gay, people expect you to enter rooms like, I am what I am. <laughs> Except what I am is pedantic and easily overwhelmed. <laughs> and I don't think that's what Gloria Gaynor was talking about. <laughs>